The city of San Diego is now one step closer to toughening rules when it comes to street vendors. Some are applauding the progress while others are angry. Fox 5's Jason Sloss breaks down the issue and the new rules that could soon be approved. Jason. Hey, Kathleen, Andrew, the mayor and city leaders say hundreds of local vendors are doing the right thing, following the rules, but many others are not. And some of those vendors say they're protected by free speech laws, while other food vendors are causing big problems of another kind in the gas lamp. And to tackle those problems, the city is now looking at a stronger street vendor law. The city of San Diego is looking to tighten its sidewalk vending ordinance by going after vendors who are out of compliance. Thursday, the city council's Community and Neighborhood Services Committee approved an amendment from council member Jennifer Campbell. There are a few rogue vendors who refuse to follow the rules and they have given uh, us a hard time in terms of enforcement. The city passed a sidewalk vending ordinance in 2022, requiring vendors to have permits and stay out of no vending zones. But complaints are ongoing over unpermitted vendors, creating public and safety hazards in high traffic areas along the coast, Balboa Park, and the Gaslamp Quarter. Business owners and legal vendors who work in the Gaslamp are pushing for stronger enforcement as they deal with confrontations with out of town and unpermitted hot dog vendors. We're losing 75% of our business to all these illegal vendors. They just come take, 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 and they don't pay taxes. They don't pay rent. Yeah, we get into physical fights. They want us out. The new amendments would allow law enforcement to bypass a warning and immediately fine and impound the property of unpermitted vendors who are creating a safety or health hazard. The amendments also aim to provide clear language about protecting constitutional rights and protecting public spaces. Some local vendors who continue to sell without permits and go into banned areas claim what they're selling has a political or religious element and therefore they're protected by free speech rights and they feel unfairly targeted by tougher enforcement. The gas lamp has severe problems going on. I get it. However, that has nothing to do with artists and performers who should be able to show their art and be able to do that publicly in public spaces. Before the committee meeting, Mayor Todd Gloria had this to say. Welcome the opportunity to provide more specificity, clarity, remove any vagueness, uh, remove any excuses, and let's get forward with making sure that we regulate our public rights away for the safety and health of all San Diegans. So now this moves on to the full city council for a vote. Uh, we're told that will likely happen by the end of the year. Live at City Hall, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.